Wildfires can pretty much happen all year round here in central Texas, but what makes them a little bit more common this time of the year is the fact that we're coming out of winter, which means a lot of this vegetation is either dead or dormant and dries out pretty quickly. Add in some high winds and you have some high danger for fires. The threat for fires remains high this week across central Texas. The Texas A&M Forest Service, along with multiple agencies from across the state, fully contained a 1,000 acre wildfire in Blanco County Tuesday. While crews are mopping up work here, the state is preparing firefighting resources across the state to extinguish any threats heading into the weekend. Whether you live in the Greenbelt in Austin or out in the country in Williamson County, local fire officials say now is the time for homeowners to take action to protect their properties from fires. A small fire can, can turn into a large blaze, um, you know, uh, multi-acre um, incident uh, in very short uh, time period. We met up with Hank Jones, the Williamson County Fire Marshal at the Twin Pines Reserve in Georgetown, an area the county has been working on to mitigate the fire danger kind of remove some of that downed uh, wood that could create and continue to burn, uh, increase the burn rate, and then as well, um, you know, some of the vegetation in between, that kind of creates a, a barrier from tree to tree or canopy to canopy. While they're working with the county land, he says there are a couple things you can do to extinguish any threats before they happen to your property, like creating what's called a defensible space. We would want to clean out our gutters, make sure that they're clean uh, so that an ember can't get into there. Uh, we would want to, uh, you know, if there's any leave deposits along, you know, the eaves of the house or the ridges of the uh, flashings of the house. And then as well, the vents that, um, you know, from your attic space, there can be dust that collects in there. He also adds that well-kept lawns reduce the fire risk versus those who let their lawns get out of hand. Another way to protect your home is getting rid of any brush piles that may be near your home. Like take this one, for example. These piles, they're dead, very dry, and it doesn't take much for them to ignite and spread a fire to your home. With these dry, windy conditions, it doesn't take much to spark a massive wildfire. He's seen cases of cigarette buds to sparks from metalwork on property causing massive wildfires, which in turn threatened homes. You can have a small fire and contain it relatively quickly, but if you have a lot of the fine fuels and they're creating these embers, those embers can pick up and travel for a long way. So you may uh, have a fire and then you end up with a fire, you know, 100 yards away. While there may not be a burn ban in your area, if you're caught burning during a red flag warning, you could be left with a hefty fine. If you are thinking about doing some burning, you are urged to contact your local fire department as well as have a spotter to make sure things don't get out of hand. In Georgetown, Stephen Sarabia, Fox 7 Austin News.